Hey, I'm Andy, and welcome to another episode of Fast Lane Friday. And I know I said last week that Formula One was going to do Road America this week, but I made a mistake, and they're actually doing Circuit of Americas. But this, um, I couldn't find Circuit of Americas on the Project Car, so since I don't think they have it. And But since I said I was going to do Road America, then it's the, and it's the closest thing to the Circuit of Americas name-wise, I decided to do it. So we're doing 29 other opponents with Formula A cars, and I pick random spots, so I don't know where I'm going to start. Uh, looks like I'm midfield. No, I'm, I'm in ninth, which is pretty good. And I really like this track with this game controller. Um, there's a lot of fast sections and a lot of braking sections, which is pretty good. Because um, I can pass a lot during the braking sections and just try and speed up as fast as I can during the fast sections. <laughs> so, we're already back. Oh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't mean to hit him. So for this, uh, before before I was interrupted, um, I was gonna say that I was I'm gonna try and not hit cars and act like it's um, an actual real race. But um, I hit that car, but I'm I'm gonna try and not hit any more cars since I don't really do that in actual competitive racing. So why would I do that here? Even though that even though there's still AI, like I need to treat this as a a real race. So I'm gonna try and pass these cars to like normal, like how you would normally pass cars in a racetrack, not by just um, checking them up from from the rear. <laughs> um, overshooting that turn doesn't help me though. Uh, luckily, um, that turn had pavement instead of dirt or sand, so I didn't lose too many spots if I did. So I believe there are six laps, since uh, the first lap takes about two minutes, five seconds, due to the standing start. But um, subsequent laps should take like a minute fifty. And like a minute 50, a minute 55, depending on how you take the corners. So, as we'll see here, we're approaching the start finish line. We're almost, we're gonna hit two minutes and some odd seconds. But now that we're not standing still and we're actually going at near top speed, um, our second lap should be faster by at least 10 seconds. And now I'm trying to catch up by braking later than they would normally brake and exiting the turn earlier than they would exit. Now hopefully that will get me the... Hopefully that will let me catch up. I mean that's the idea. Yeah, I overshot that a little bit. Uh, that that one turn is tricky. Uh, we're going to do it fast. Oh no 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 no! Okay, good. I didn't overshoot. <laughs> Let's not overshoot this one like we did before. And I like this long turn that we have right here. Um, it's one of the few turns that I've played in the game where you can actually turn at a high rate of speed. But you can't go too fast or else you're going to spin out like like um, any other turn. And then when you have this long section here that we can go fast. Now there's technically like uh, curves here but you can go fast in this section. Until you get to this corner. Which you have to slow down and take that turn. I almost spun out there so the guy behind it got caught up really fast. But I'm I'm almost seven seconds behind fifth. <laughs> That's a bad sign. But I have um, four more laps to go, so hopefully I can catch up. Uh, if not, then I'll take a sixth place finish, considering I could finish uh, dead last. Out of 30. <laughs> mm, let's 
So this track is, I don't want to say it's, it's not the hardest track, but it's by far not the easiest track in this game. Uh, for, in my skill level, I would think. Like, Monaco is... This is, this is one of, um, I like this track, but Monaco slash the Azure Circuit is, will always be my favorite track, even though it's much more harder to pass, um, drive, what have you. Um, I don't know what the easiest track I've played in this game would be. I would have to look at the track list and say, but... Um, this is... Oh, I... This is not the easiest, but it's... It's kind of like, um, a little bit under the middle. Leaning toward the easier tracks for this controller. Because I don't seem to be having problems as I did with, like, Sonoma or... I think it was Sonoma? I think it's like so oh, nope nope. Uh, I I broke way too late. <laughs> and now um the car in front of me is nine seconds ahead. <laughs> uh, that one's on me. I should have broke earlier, but I tried to be greedy and uh just didn't slow down fast enough. As for gas wise Oh, uh, I did not take that turn well at all, and I still did a faster lap than my previous one. But as I was saying, like, gas-wise, we're solid. We don't need to take a pit stop for, for gas. Now I'm, I'm distancing myself from 7th position, which is good. And I'm nowhere near catching up to 5th. So, uh, catching up would be a hard thing to do. Uh, but if I'm continuing on improving these lap times, then for sure I can catch up, maybe. I don't know if I'll actually take over fifth from the person, but we'll see. We're on lap four of six. So two and a half laps, two and a half more to go. And the reason I'm tapping my acceleration throughout that turn is that I don't want to spin out. Like, there was always a possibility of me spinning out because um, the acceleration is just zero or 100%. So that's the reason I'm babying through the high speed sections when I need to turn. It help, it uh, helps me steer, but it hinders me overall in trying to catch up to the 5th place car. I mean, now they're 10 seconds ahead. Uh, I don't think I'm going to catch up. But I did 2, <laughs> two 2.5 seconds uh, faster than the previous lap, which is a big improvement. And even though the guy says my laps are inconsistent, it's because uh, I did I I made some mistakes earlier. Oh, like I did here. So the previous cars caught up to a point point one second. They're like right next to me. They're right there. <laughs> oh, that was a clean pass. No. And I got the position back. I know like um, in the track it shows like certain turns are repaved, but I don't know if that affects the tires in the game at all. Like I know it affects it in real life, but I don't know if it does in the game. So, 5th position is 12 seconds ahead and just, they're just, um, not even making mistakes so I can catch up. And there's no way of me getting there within a lap. Unless if they like horribly mess up, but then I horribly messed up here as well. And I lost a position. Dang it. Um, 
So, I guess I should try and take a position back within the last lap, which I'm gonna try. Nope, he closed me. <laughs> he shut me. He shut my lane down. Uh, I made a mistake and uh, broke too early or broke too late in that turn again. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to catch up to 5th position, even though, like... No! Uh, huh. uh, I didn't want to hit him. Like, I don't know why I'm trying to catch up to them when I when I know for sure that I can't <laughs> within the 6 laps. But the weather is pretty... The weather's pretty for a fall day, at least from my experience. Fall is always cloudy and and uh, rainy or something like that. But I think I just set it to clear skies, even though it's in late October. So I'm not gonna uh, push myself to get 5th position because I know I probably won't get it within half a lap. So the best thing I can do is just try and keep my position, not make any mistakes, and take a 6th place victory, if you can call that a victory, since 6th uh, uh, place is actually, nope, 6th place is, oh, whoa, what happened there? I didn't cut the track. I didn't cut the track, I got hit. <laughs> uh, but, uh, hopefully I don't get past. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to get past. So I'll take a 6th place finish. I, I could have lost it in that corner right there when that guy wrecked into me, but uh, it is what it is. 6th uh, place is pretty good considering... I could have, since of the, all the mistakes I've made, I could have finished worse. So let's view the replay, let's view like the first lap or two, see how well it goes. <laughs> Hint, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> so I overtook one car at least at the very beginning. No, I like that the... The camera shook because of the raw power of the cars. That's a neat effect. It's not a big effect, but it's a nice subtle effect. There's like a helicopter slash drone camera angle. Oh, we did touch tires there a little bit. So I wasn't the only one that took that turn a little bit wider. No, oh, and I made a mistake there a little. But no one capitalized, or they couldn't because they were too far behind. Here is where I overshot the turn. Oh, that guy was nice enough to break. Oh, that was choppy. Oh, that's a that's a weird angle. I took I took that turn pretty okay for the first lap, but uh, the consequent laps I just made mistakes because I wanted to catch up for some reason. Like I knew from the. At least on lap one, there was at least a possibility if I didn't, uh, if I didn't make any mistakes, I probably could have caught up to fifth place and possibly fourth, third, and, sec and second and first. But I've made a lot of mistakes, so I couldn't really catch up. Like by the time it hit like the third lap, I should have stopped trying. <laughs> I should have just uh, played it safe and pulled my position. But it is what it is.
Well, I guess that does it for this episode of Fast Lane Friday. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for next week. Might be more Project Cars, might be even the Dirt series, who knows. Um, I know I haven't gotten to a lot of tracks in Project Cars, and the one track I really want to do is the California Highway Full. So I'm, I might do that, I might not. Uh, depends on what's going on next week. But, um... Uh, Whatever happens, happens, and there there will be a uh, fast night Friday for sure. I just don't know which game will be in. Might be in something completely new, completely new. It might not, but oh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.